Hey guys, Jake from Outdoor Initiative. So after some encouragement from Toad Sticker, I uh, finally sat down and uh, I don't know if I'd call this a review, more of a knife opinion and, and I'll just speak to my experiences with this knife and uh, go from there. So the basis of this knife is, or how I, how I got uh, this triage and this one right here this is my first first bench made and I got it from my wife for our for our ninth anniversary and so if you watch that wondrous buck red point 750 review that was the night of our 10 year anniversary. So I've had this for just over a year now. But this right here is easily the knife that got me into the Benchmade Access Lock, uh, you know, the love affair with it. And I don't have a problem with saying that I'm a Benchmade fanboy. That's okay with me. You can call me that. Um, but the the reason behind this knife in particular was for the glass breaker at the tip um i ride a bus to work an hour and a half to work and an hour and a half back uh year round i hardly ever drive to work and so when you ride the bus that long you're bound to <laughs> being a bus that breaks down, slides off the road, somehow, you know, you're pretty much detained against your will. And so that was the idea behind this uh, knife was to, I wanted a knife that I could evacuate that bus uh, one way or the other. And so after kind of shopping around, this is what I came to. And I'll tell you what, I ended up just absolutely falling in love with this knife. I really did. The access lock just didn't take long for it to become my favorite knife. So um, we could just run through a few uh, specs three and a half inch blade in N680 stainless steel and then it has an integrated uh, safety cutter in 440C so and this was this was really this is the blade that I started realizing that all my other knives before this had been a combination blade or you know partially serrated and I like that but what I don't like is how much serrations are on here and if you're an EMT or you're an actual you know operator in the field or a paramedic I could see having uh, serrations or even a fully serrated blade but for me for a civilian guy you know how many serrations I need I need let me go right there that many maybe that many serrations all I need is enough to bite into that rope and get get it going I don't need you know what a full a full inch of serrations for me it, it's too much and this is this is the blade that I I don't know that dawned on me that I realized that I don't need as many serrations so it only took me a year but I got a hold of this one and I, I'll tell you what between this and the 950 rift they've been this right here has become my favorite EDC uh, it's kind of a toss-up between the that rift uh, that toad sticker sold me thank you very much bro I love that knife it's amazing um, and it's a, one thing I would like to do with this, cause I couldn't find the, I couldn't find the 
uh, black coated version. I'd like to acid wash this and see how it comes out because aesthetically, just you know, my own personal preference, I like the darker, the darker look. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the history. That's kind of the uh, the reason why I came to really love this knife is just the fact that I ride that bus so much and I just wanted something, you know, a little bit of peace of mind. But it's not infallible, you know, this, I mean, there's problems, I'll, and I'll tell you what it is. This pocket clip, and I don't know if you can see if those screw heads pick up, that's what I find tears up my jeans. This super, and then this is super high texture G10, this peel ply style G10, I love it. I don't have any problem with it. Even underneath, I don't think that the G10 rips up my pants at all. What I find that snags my pants is this clip with these exposed uh, screw heads. I would have much rather have them be a, a countersunk or like an Emerson style clip. You know, me personally, that's what I would much rather dig. Got to pick up the little guy here in a little bit. Uh... Was the other one? This is also when I really started digging this stacked G10 style knife, where it's it's like sandwich style with the liners and the G10. That's I really, I mean, you know, not that this is the most amazing thing in hand, but I love the it is what it is feeling of this knife. I mean, deep thumb ramp. Access lock deployment. I mean, just nothing. I'll watch this. Let's see if I can get this in. I mean, just swings free. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's... That's what I dig. So, yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for taking a look. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Toad Sticker, for the nudge to get me to... Uh, kind of throw out this knife review or this knife opinion um yeah thanks guys i i appreciate it you guys uh thanks thanks for taking a look so uh please like and subscribe and uh you guys have a good one peace